It used to be in the National Football League that when you want a Super Bowl, you want to keep the same players together to go for another run. But this is the 21st century, 2016, and the name of the game is restocking for another run. In this instance, the Super Bowl champion Denver Broncos handily defeated the Carolina Panthers, even though the Panthers were better statistically in the game, but I digress. So you would think, okay, you want to keep a lot of the same players together and go after another Super Bowl championship, right? Well, not exactly. Consider this. This week alone, quarterback Peyton Manning retired. Quarterback Brock Osweiler, the assumed heir apparent to Manning's job. Now, the Super Bowl savior apparent with the Houston Texans. We'll see how that works out. They're having Brock parties already. Yeah, I said Brock parties, not block. Brock parties already. An assumption of a not just a playoff appearance, but a Super Bowl appearance. We'll see. We'll see. And then there's on the defensive side of the ball, Malik Jackson. He goes from being a just over a million dollar a year man to a multi-millionaire with the Jacksonville Jaguars. And Danny Trevathan, who lets it known that he's happy to be a Chicago Bear, but he kind of thought the Green Bay Packers were going to be calling. Hmm. Interesting. How will the Broncos rebuild this year? Word on the street social media, is that, in text, of course, is that they're going after Colin Kaepernick. But will the Niners part with Colin so easily? I doubt it. RG3 is out there, and I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what the National Football League network says. He is not the worst available free agent. He's going to do damage with some team. Stay tuned. The Broncos have rebuilding to do. And they're doing it by letting players go. They have holes they have to fill.